So um, this is the uh, next day after we saw um, everything we did at Sabo's. This is all recorded like earlier because we're on channel strike right now, so I can't really upload for a week. But I just tested. I'm trying to get this motor to start since it's not mine. It's uh, a customer's. So trying to get this ready by next season. I haven't really had the time, but they don't need it now. But giving me something to do. I just tested it for spark, <laughs> which it did have some, which was great because that engine um, does not have spark and my other one back there does not have spark. So at least we have spark because I do not like trying to mess with spark. And at first I thought it was a bad carb. Well, I didn't know that, but then I broke it. So I'm like, okay. So we have the new carb on there. I lost the gasket somehow. So there's a gasket that goes on there. I don't know where that went. But, I mean, it has compression. It has spark. It should have fuel. That's a brand new carb. And it has oil. It has compression. Um, so I'm not really sure why this thing is a, went to fire up. But, I don't know. I'll look into it. And I'll probably put you guys on a time lapse while I uh, work on this. So, yeah, I'm not going to put on time lapse because I can't find my uh, camera holder thing. But I did find a coat that's 2XL. Um, I'm large, so it's a bit too big, but, you know, she gets her done. Um, yeah, I can't find my tripod. I've looked the house, the garage, the barn, whatever I don't really care, so you might. I don't. So, um, honestly, put it back together and shoot some ether in it. I don't know. Okay, so I got my little remote here that turns on and off my camera, so it's pretty nice. But I put everything together that needs to be together for it to start. Basically, not all of it, but not a wussy. So, um, we're just gonna. It also does not have a gas tank on it, so we're gonna hope it starts. Persuasion juice. Persuasion juice. <laughs> Should do the trick. That's it. Oh, she's, she's blowing smoke. She wants to go. Go. She's popping. Go. She's going hard. That's what I remember being wrong with it. The pull cord sucked badly. I'm gonna pull. Oh, there we go. Go. We are gonna mount the actual pull cord on. Get our minute up. Stop. Let's try some more ether. I'll call my grandpa. He might have a new recoil. Um. Yeah. So. I lost the bolt, apparently, or the nut. Apparently, that's gone to the end of this. But I found one that works good enough. It's actually, it, it was in the bowl of extra these nuts. Um, and I also guessed the wrench size somehow. That hasn't happened since like 1876, but um, yeah. And we did not throw a wrench, I promise. Okay, it's on, so we're going to spray a little bit more ether, sorry, persuasion juice into it. Okay, see what happens. Oh, there we go. Bit of a backfire. Oh god, yeah, I need some whole cord. I'm gonna call my grandpa up, see what he's doing. So, uh, yeah. 
So I called up my grandpa, told him everything that's going on. He, uh, oh, he's coming over here soon. And, like, it would be hard to do holding the camera, but, um, I don't know how good a video this is. But, like, you pull it, and then it, like, pulls real hard back on you, and sometimes it'll, like, like just jam it in, so. I'm not real sure. Probably have to get a new recoil system or pull cord or something, but, um, other than that, this machine seems ready to go. So, uh, besides the gasket, I need a gasket, but I bet I can find that laying around somewhere, but hopefully I have, uh, this ready by, hell, I might hopefully have this, uh, to Dale and Kelly, which is a customer's name, uh, I don't know, next week, hopefully, but, yeah, and I also need some new bolts for the carburetor, I just kind of jimmied some on there, so, yeah. So it runs. My grandpa's over, so I couldn't record. All it was, which it kind of flew right by me. I didn't really even think of this. Um, it was out of time, and uh, and uh, flywheel key was uh, sheared completely. But got a new one of them, so we're sitting pretty good. And uh, yeah, so it's all put back together. It is now dark outside, so that gives you, I had the fine bolt for the carburetor, or not like, well, technically, the air box, but it goes on to the carburetor, so the same thing. Um, but we're gonna pull it out, fill it up with gas, and uh, see if she runs. She better. Uh, she should start. <laughs> in it for the first time so she ran for a little bit Number two. Tip number two, it runs not very long and it's still kind of knocking. So, uh, so let's see if my remote work and just shut her off. So I know this is going to be a long video, but um, this is the second day. Yesterday we got that um, motor running, which is good. And today, we are um, getting the blade off, and my grandpa's gonna sharpen it for me since I don't have a bench grinder. So I'm sure he's got fancy tools and stuff to help him. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, we got the blade off, which wasn't a hard task because it's just one nut, so I didn't want to get through the hassle of a. Uh, Recording it for that, but we're also going to grab the gas can. Um, we're going to fill that up, and because the engine was only sputtering, but I didn't have enough gas to fill it up very high, so fill this tank up and see what happens.